Speaking of the Spurs game, um, I will be in the building for that one, so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, they nice. can get a get a win in that game. Mm-hmm. Um, I, <clears throat> yeah. I do want to ask, which player on the team would you say has risen a little bit? Who has improved the most? Would you say this season so far, mm. at, despite the struggles? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, probably Scotty Barnes. Um, I mean, it's kind of a, a cop out, I suppose. Um, I you could <laughs> no, say no. Precious <laughs> Achua too. For different reasons, but Scotty, I think him um, learning how to be less passive on the court has been really important for him, and yeah. he's still learning about that too. Like look, look no further than yesterday against the Grizzlies. Like he turns it on the fourth quarter, yes, goes he six did. to seven. Yes, he's the reason he why they win that game. But then others are like, well, where, where, where hitting was that the rest of the where? Me. Yeah, where was this rest of the game? Right, that's what you're thinking. <sighs> Um, he's learning how to, how to balance his bevy of tools. I'll put it that way. He's got a lot of ways he can help the team. And in the end, I mean, like they weren't like, it wasn't over. They were down by, you know, I think eight or nine going into the fourth quarter. So exactly. they were within striking distance. And so, and the offense was humming for the most part. Um, yes, they're getting a, a good shots. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. Um, but then in that moment, right. He was looked to, to score the ball and he just kept on scoring. And so he that's definitely did. credit to him. Yeah, and then Precious, I guess you could say him too, because like early in the season, what was his role? It wasn't really solidified. He wasn't That's getting true. consistent minutes. Coming off the bench, hurt. yeah. He was, yeah, he's missing a lot of time, mm-hmm. and then he comes back, and he's found a groove again. Um, the three-point mm-hmm. shot has been, again, a little bit hit and miss for him, but right. I just like how he's integrated himself into the team, and he's a, he fills a lot of roles and in the intangibles that yes, a yes. lot of teams need. You need exactly. someone to be able to help you with that rebounding, cutting, screening, right, right. Uh, rolling to the basket, getting defensive rebounds, he's been excellent at that. So, a credit to him too. Like mm-hmm. he's not even like accessing all of his skills yet. Um, right. But when that does happen, and I mean to be fair, we could be seeing this very soon once the Raptors, if they decide to throw, uh, you know, trade a lot of their starters, we could exactly. be seeing the pressures that you experiment again. You're right know, about that. We'll You're see. right. You're right about that. Uh, we have some exciting days ahead. <laughs> you know, Indeed it's we it, do. for me who I would say uh, who surprised me the most this year. Um, I would kind of say I'm 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 a bit. I like Malachi Flynn. I was kind of big on him when he first got drafted. Mm-hmm. Um, I felt he wasn't given a lot of playing time. You know, um, I I used to see a lot of people say he's Nick Nurse has him in a doghouse and whatnot, but I just felt he he didn't get the 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 freedom to make mistakes but now he's kind of yeah. given that opportunity to say okay go out you know play your game and and he him and fred at times when the two sh- uh, small guards are on the floor i find that it they really mesh good together they give a lot of defensive problems mm-hmm. you know the ball handlers uh there's a lot of pressure that they 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 give off you know even i see them both have this this little steal that they do from behind that they can reach into to some of the taller defenders is um, yeah, 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 when yeah, they have the yeah. ball so you know, it's really good to see the improvement of Malachi Flynn. Um, Chris Boucher, I think I think the year always goes like that for Chris Boucher. He kind of starts off a little rough with a three-point percentage, then he picks it up, mm-hmm. and um, we, we want to continue to see it, for sure, for sure. So, you know... I-